Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Military Mondays. For those who do not know who I am, I am retired Major Brenda Sanchez, and I am the co-founder of Life's Real Currency with my husband, Michael Sanchez, and we have a best-selling book called Life's Real Currency. So I encourage you to follow us, and today I have the honor of interviewing Beth Weatherford. Beth and I have known each other for four years, four, five years, four or five, something I like that yeah. for a while. And we met out networking and Beth is a really neat lady. She is a retired, or not retired, she's a former army nurse. And she's also a former spouse of now her husband's retired mm -hmm. a couple months ago. Well, How many? Actually, that was the second retirement. So we he did his 20 years in the Army and then 20 years in the Department of Defense. So I have been inundated with military for a long time. <laughs> so she has a very varied background, sort of like I do, in the service. So she's served kind of on all sides also, um, being the spouse and serving herself active duty. So um, I would love to hear from Beth and let her know what she's up to today now that she's out of the army and her husband's out of the army. What are they up to? What They're having a lot of fun. We are. We are. Yes. It's been, um, the, re the second retirement's been the best. But a little bit about how we got there is that I was active duty and met John in the army. Um, I was an army nurse at Fort Benning, Georgia, and he was a ranger instructor at the Ranger Training Brigade at the time. And um, that's where we met. And of course, being in the military, we moved shortly thereafter and continued to move. And it was hard for me to continue working as a nurse with moving all the time and then throw a family in there and <laughs> it became like impossible. Right. But the hardest thing was I had always worked. I just felt like, that was what I was supposed to be doing. And yet, how do you do that and take care of your family when you have that upheaval all the time? And so I was looking for something different, you know, whether I was gonna work part-time or I just didn't know how it was gonna look. And all of a sudden, network marketing fell into my lap. So this was many, many moons ago and I discovered network marketing and became a scrapbooker. And I taught scrapbooking everywhere I moved and it was such a wonderful outlet for me. I met my friends, I could carry it with me wherever I went, and it was people that were like me, you know, family, family minded, mm -hmm. and it was just a great outlet for me. Gave me some spending money, I can't say that it was not all networking mark companies are the same. Right. Yeah. I have a question for you though, before we go any further, when you saw network marketing for the first time, were you open to it? Well, you know, I didn't <laughs> know all the connotations that some people have about it today. And I went, oh my gosh, literally I saw somebody do a scrapbooking demonstration and I went, Oh my gosh, if she can do it, I can, I can do, do it. it. <laughs> How much is this thing? And it was, you know, I just moved like for the fifth time in two years. So money was tight. So I got started pretty inexpensively. And I was truly, it was like, I'm, I'm doing this. If she can do it, I can do it. And, and that's what got me started. And that's the beauty of network marketing. I know there's a lot of people that have negative or have a, a negative mindset about it, but it really is. It's a lot of fun. You get to spend time with your friends and especially as the spouse, you don't have to pick up and start all over again every time. Like to go to a new hospital every time and then you're low man on the, or oh, low woman on the totem your pole. Night shift. Yeah, exactly. Your <laughs> night, night shift, shift, you get all the holidays, you, yeah. you get all the crap shit, you know, the, the crappy shifts and you just, you don't have any priority. So 
Um, not only that, I had to pay every state I'd ever worked in oh, to get true. a license in the new state. And the list was very long. And it was like, this is cost prohibitive <laughs> to try to get a job and I'm only gonna be here nine months. So it was, that, that was just not a possibility. But, um, you know, the lady who introduced me to network marketing is actually from, Can no, Missouri. I was living in Kansas, she was in Missouri, and we still are Facebook friends today. That's and so cool. I know, so she's been in my life for 30 years. So I love that. The people I've met and I get to keep in my life because of it. So I really enjoyed it. So you started with scrapbooking. But that's not what you're doing today. You're doing something today that's way more in line with who you are and who you were as a nurse and the health and wellness and getting teaching people health and wellness and multiple yeah. things that you can help them with. So how'd you get into good for you, her new company, Good For You Wellness? So how did that start? Well, you know, when you said those things, I was just smiling going how life can turn and how much I enjoy what I'm doing now. Um, scrapbooking came to an end, company changed, and it was time for me to move on, and I didn't know what to what. And then this water fell into my life, and I'm going, water? Are you <laughs> kidding me? And I... Well, I discovered it very reluctantly. I was much more than a skeptic. I, I did not have a good attitude until I experienced this amazing water. My water is called um, Kunkin water. It's, an, it's called an ionized water, electrically reduced water. And I discovered this about almost nine years ago, Brenda. Wow. And it was like, ah, I don't know water until I started to be a product of the product. I drank the water over the Christmas holidays and had such incredible changes in my life that I could not ignore it. It was you know, not only did I have more energy, I was sleeping better, but my lab work improved so much. I mean, it was drastically better. And my bone density went up and I was able to get off so many medications that it was like, this is a no brainer for, um, for a lifetime of health. I need this technology. And so I've been able to share it with people for the last almost nine years and see so many families' lives changed. So my company's called Good For You Wellness and the water is my foundation, just like it needs to be the foundation of all health. But I also offer a couple other things that I have discovered along the way that are also related to wellness. So I offer a filter, filter that helps clean the water first before it goes into the technology that makes the water healthy. And then I also have a supplement called Ukon, which is an incredible organic turmeric um, that's been around for a long time. And it's out of Okinawa, which is an incredible place to get your turmeric. And then I have recently discovered the wonders of CBD. And I do live in Colorado, <laughs> but this CBD stuff has been incredible. I was, uh, again, reluctant. You get my words, reluctant <laughs> until I'm proven wrong. And I really have enjoyed um, the CBD products from HempSmart, mostly because I feel that their quality is unsurpassed and that they spend a lot of time and effort making sure it's pure and I'm getting the best, the best, the best. I'm all about the best. So that's what I've been up to and I've just been sharing wellness wherever I can um, between clean water, healthy water, hemp smart, pain free, I'm all about it. So that's what I've been doing, Brenda. Cool, so you were reluctant as 
Um, many of my viewers know you've been watching my husband's and my health journey recently, and we were very reluctant. So all I can say is you need to reach out to Beth and learn about her water because it has such great benefits for your health. And if you're a skeptic, it's okay. It's okay. Reach out to Beth and let her just share with you the benefits of it. Now, one other thing I want to ask you is being um, military and then a military spouse, what do you think the skills you learned in the service or as a spouse, how do they help you in business today? So all of those spouses or let's say we're talking to active duty right now because we got some active duty people out there getting ready to retire and they're not sure what they're gonna do in retirement. They want time and financial freedom. Mm -hmm. And um, why should they take a look at, and what skills did they learn in the service that trans um, transform a business that most people don't have? Well, I will just tell you that one of the best things is that you get to be your own boss. And that is a big, a big plus after you've been <laughs> maybe under someone else for quite some time. <laughs> so I no, yeah. not in the military. We're not <laughs> under anybody's thumb in the you military. Know, I, <laughs> I have become kind of uppity and love being my own boss. So that's a joy that awaits you. <laughs> but I think one of the things I, you know, you get up and go that you make things happen and that you have to find resources out of nothing sometimes to make things work and I I think that was probably my best skill also I was in healthcare I was a critical care nurse so I worked in all the scary places the ER the up, um, recovery room all types of um, critical care units and I just saw so much of what can happen and if I just being able to prevent things is like the gl most glorious thing for me. So finding something that gives your life meaning that you can get up every morning and say, I can do this because you've already got the, the wherewithal to make things happen. You have gotten up every day when you didn't feel like it to do what you needed to do for, excuse me, for our God and country. So I just... Um, think that you've already got a foundation that you've built on forever and that you're just going to change who you're doing it for. Right. And perseverance. Yeah, perseverance. I mean, that's what I hear you saying is it's just perseverance. Like you said, you get up in the morning, every single morning, and go to work in the military, whether you're sick or not. Generally, yeah. you are, especially mm -hmm. if you're in a combat zone, you don't have time to be sick and you find a way to push through and be successful and get things done. And I just think that's a huge skill that the military military and military spouses have because, okay, all you military spouses that are out there, you've served too. Um, oh, yes. You, you <laughs> actually... Um, you have a bigger role, sorry, veterans, and I'm a veteran, so, um, but you really have a bigger role because trying to keep the house together, especially if there's children, and to be able to keep everything functioning and move and all of those moves and pick up and start over again, especially on the officer side, if you're uh, the spouse of an officer, especially a commander, you have a lot on your plate. And so thank you for your service because I truly believe maybe you don't have the rank on your shoulders, but you have served in the military. And so thank you for your service. I think that's the backbone to know that somebody's there holding it together is really essential. And you know, I just think of spouses, many of you are like me, that extra money would be so wonderful, and yet you've got so many obligations. How can you do something kind of on the side, but in your free time, well, that you can make a little bit of time and bring some income in. You know, my big thing was, I don't think John ever knew how much it was <laughs> to make do my hair. And because it was always, that came out of my... Um, 
your my fun money work, or, or your my extra work money, money. Yeah. my work money. So I always love to do that, but it's just such a nice thing to have a business of your own that travels with you. And it just attracts the people you want to meet at your next duty station or actually when you get out that you can pull people in that are like you. So I think that's really important because you want to have that kind of camaraderie. That's kind of how Brenda and I met. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why we connected so well when we first met is the military background and to kind of talk about our our service and mm -hmm. what Beth had done versus what I had done in the service. And there's just an automatic connection there when you find other military, whether they be spouses or veterans or currently serving military active duty, there's a natural connection there. And you know, the other thing that I just wanted to say is that so often that is your clientele in your new business too, yep. is that you get to pull from people that are, that are that know you your military background and they want to do business with veterans. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a nice nice way to get your business up and going. It, anything else you want to add before we sign off for the week? Or I want to just thank you for inviting me. This has been fun and I I just think that I, I want to just give another little plug out for the spouses. It's always wonderful to have a little something of your own and having your own business is a great way to do it. And it can be big or it can be small, but it's yours. And you get a chance to make a mark on the world along with your husband and your kids. So I just think it's a great way to go. And skepticism, I think it's just from ignorance. They just don't know. So give it mm -hmm. a go. Um, I'd love to talk to anybody. Water's my foundation. Yes, it is. Mm, okay, <laughs> with that, I'll turn it back to you, Brenda. Awesome. Well, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. As you know, we're here every Monday morning at 8 a.m. Mountain Time for Military Mondays. If you are a veteran or maybe you're active duty or you're the spouse of a veteran who has their own business, I would love to hear from you and maybe even interview you here on my Military Mondays show. So please reach out to me, private message me. I'd love to have a conversation with you, find out what you're up to and uh, just build a relationship with you and see where that might go. But with that, I would like to invite you all to militarymondays.info. That's how you can follow me and learn about past shows and upcoming shows. So again, militarymondays, with an S, dot info. And um, join our community and we will see you next Monday on Military Mondays. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a great week.